hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm glad that you're here so today we're talking about something nice we are talking about getting rid of ingrown hair and um yeah razor bumps that's what we are talking about today so if you haven't done it already please do subscribe to my channel like comment and share and if you have a problem stay tuned we're gonna take care of it so um if you're a lady obviously you 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 are one of those people who are body conscious and you don't want to look uneven or have razor bumps they're not pretty i had them they were bad so a little backstory i have a lot of body hair so i started shaving a little bit earlier than usual i started shaving when i was in high school and the person who um introduced me to shaving didn't tell me like how i'm supposed to go about it so i used to shave it dry wet um with soap don't even ask so i used to do it however wherever whenever i felt like and i know it costed me a lot so um i started i recently stumbled upon um an article about how to get rid of ingrown hair and so i started doing it so that there's i used two methods which are very easy one is cheap and easy the other one it will cost you but not a lot so sorry so for starters you can use a brush this is a facial brush you can get it at best ladies at i think 150 shillings and it's a little bit wet so this brush you can you can use it to dry brush you just okay it's wet so you just use it to brush um before you actually um shave so it's it helps with getting rid of dead skin and the dead skin is what leads to ingrown hair so this is option one so there's three options I think so there's this an exfoliant a body exfoliant it uh, you can use it as a as a body towel and it makes you feel so clean like it removes dead skin your your skin glows so this this is also what i use and this one is good because you just shower as usual but you use this and it has some it has two sides one has bristles i don't know if you can see them uh, yeah you can see and the other side it doesn't have any so as you can see so you can use either or according to your skin so this is good um you you exfoliate and then you um you shave so and there's the that now method now this is um it's a spa body scrub as you can see um it's it's it has coffee spa body scrub with coffee uh so this this i had it obviously i'm a massage therapist so you have to have such things so i started using it costed me less than 200 i think so i you you, you open it smells exactly like coffee you open take a little bit apply it on a damp surface let's say it's under your arms scrub it then you rinse it off then you take your gillette or whatever or whichever um blade that you use and then you shave and uh you will avoid having the ingrown hair the other thing is don't shave upwards sidewards just follow the way your hairs grow now mine grows downwards if yours grow in another direction you should shave towards the direction that your hair grows out to avoid um having what do we call it ingrown hair so i'm gonna show you how bad mine was so this is my um under my armpit this is awkward but yeah so this is under my armpit so as you can see it's a bit clear now and i've used it for approximately let's say two weeks so i have two razor bumps and they're folding off obviously just two that one and that one these are scars the ones i had now that are not no longer there but they are just fading uh, just a little bit at a time and so this is my other underarm as you can see this one doesn't have as much see so obviously uh, it has been doing magic for me um also um when you do exfoliate you need a shaving foam so in place of a shaving foam i i don't like incurring many costs um i am an african woman i am a kikuyu lady so 
don't blame me for this so i use you can use a conditioner and obviously if you have hair any hair natural relaxed whatever you will never lack sh any moisturizing shampoo or a conditioner let's just be honest or not even that a body lotion you will not lack that so you need something that that's a little bit slippery so that the blade can just slip, you know. So I use my, uh, it's called Mikala, Mika.lla. So I think it's Mikala Honey and Butter Conditioner. By the way, this conditioner is good for my, for my hair. I love it. I wanted to shave, but then, okay. That's a story for another day. But anyway, I use this. After you scrub, you exfoliate. You rinse, you rinse it off, you apply your conditioner, then you shave. Then after that, you shower, because I'm, I'm assuming you're doing this in the shower. And after you shower, you moisturize. So I like this. I like this. Almond, almond uh, hair oil. I love it. As you can see, it's even almost finished. I use this for a lot of things. I use it for my hair. To seal in the moisture i love the smell it's not a lot it's not out there and it smells good it's a little bit subtle which i like i use it to lock in my moisture in my face on my face yeah i use it under my hands and on my coochie so this is my what i end up um, applying after shaving so this is my to go to so as you can see it's uh, it's okay because i have sensitive dry skin and this has been working wonders for me both on my skin my hair my armpits i don't know i i use it sorry i use it for everything the other thing is that um the same methods that i've shown you you can use the exact same methods on your coochie so but the catch is these things are all um chemicals so just do it on the surface the frontal part don't go inside don't go on those don't go near there um it cleans itself so yeah you only need to clean it on the top you should see mine it looks amazing it's like a baby's um coochie my armpits are amazing i'm just looking forward to getting rid of this scarring and then i can enjoy my my um is it called sleeveless and tank tops and whatever tops yeah but if you are a minimalist this is the way to go minimalist and if you have allergies to many many oils and whatever this and the brush is the way to go you this one's this one i bought it at a supermarket i think it was taskies or neighbors under 200 and this one at 150 this one i'm sure at 150 so there you go guys so um if you haven't already subscribe to my channel like comment share i'll be coming with um what do we call them uh beauty hacks tips tricks i love i love being natural so i don't use a lot of products if that's what you're going for then you're in the right place i'm your girl just support me in this and i will catch you later uh Give me a thumbs up, like, follow, share. Oh, it's subscribe. Bye, y'all.